Hey, what up, what up? This your boy Gabriel Willa, and I'm locked in with my bro, Mr. Furman Jackson Jr. on Walking His Ways and Pay Voice. Loved your show, bro. Keep it going. You are now listening to the most talked about blog talk radio station in the universe. Walk in his ways, Impact Voice Radio. Be prepared to have your mind stimulated, your spirit elevated in ways you couldn't even imagine. Introducing your host and the mastermind behind this unforgettable experience, Furman Jackson. Junior, you will not be disappointed. Let's go! Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to welcome everybody to a special edition of Walking This Way Impact Voice Podcast. I'm your host, Freeman Jackson Jr. I'm broadcasting live my new home of Arlington, Texas, outside Dallas and Fort Worth. I'm very excited about tonight's episode. The title of tonight's episode is called Lights, Camera, Action. With my featured guest of the evening, she's a few, she's a she's a native of Dallas, Texas. Um, she's go by Sandra uh, Sweet, and I'm very excited about having her here. She has a lot of great things going on. She's a part of the reality show called Fifty and Flawless. She also has a um, stage place coming up called Judgment Day that's going to be taking a place. So she got a lot of great things going on. So we're getting more into that um, on tonight. So once again, tonight, tied up tonight's episode is called Lights, Camera, Action. And before we get started with the q and I'm going to kick it off with Primetime Kenny Williams with the latest news and sports updates. We know it's a big weekend. We know the playoffs starting up this weekend. We got a great thing. We know we had the natural championship. I hated the Alabama loss on last night because I am a I am a native of Mobile, Alabama. Roll tide still. So Kenny, take away with the latest news and update. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's playoff time, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing? I am your host, Kenny Primetime Williams, and I want to welcome you. I want to welcome you right now to the Prime Zone. It's so many things going on right now. The NFL playoffs, wild card weekend, coaches being fired. People returning back from injury in the NBA. So let's get into it and let's get it popping. Let's start off by the coaches that have lost their job after the season. Starting off with the, the New York Giants has now fired Joe, Joe Judge after two losing seasons. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy did a terrible job. They let him go. They didn't make the playoffs. Not one time they were there. Moving on to the Miami Dolphins, I really was kind of disappointed that this was for the Miami Dolphins, but that was, they fired their head coach, Mr. Brian Flores. He did a great job. He turned the team around. He started off with a great uh, quarterback from Alabama, and I thought he did wonderful things. Also, Minnesota Vikings split ties with Mr. Mike Zimmerman. Also, Chicago Bears let Mr. Mike Matt Nagy go, and Denver Broncos with Vic Bermingo. Moving on, last night's national championship. The Georgia Bulldogs, is college national championship, beating the Alabama Crimson Tide 33 to 18. What an exciting game on last night, all the way down to the wire. It was a very defensive game at halftime, and after halftime, the Georgia Bulldogs just let out the ties and did all the things for the Crimson Tide. So congratulations to Georgia for the winning the national championship. Celebration has gone on in the state of Georgia and are looking for bigger things on next year from the Crimson side because they will be only losing five starters from this year and five seniors. So that's a big up for Alabama on next year with a young quarterback already won the Heisman Trophy. Big and better things are being good for Alabama on next year. <clears throat> Let's move on a little bit to the NBA. Clay Thompson made his return, ladies and gentlemen, after being out due to injury for two years. He was out approximately 941 days 
and he made his return to the court as they played the Cleveland Cavaliers, and he scored a great 29 points, having been uh, 5'11 from three-point line. He was awesome as his return. It was a great game. If the crowd was emotional, people was in there wearing his jersey number. People were glad to see Clay back on the court, and I wish him well for the rest of the season. Kyrie Irving has now returned back to the NBA, only playing away games, but he has given the, the Brooklyn Nets some depth and some spunk to their team, and he has been able to do some things. And since been back, they've won uh, two out of three games. So Kyrie Irving has been back with the team. Let's get on to Wild Card Weekend. Wild Card Weekend is this weekend, ladies and gentlemen. This weekend, I got the AFC with the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. I got the New England Patriots taking on the Buffalo Bills. The Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Pittsburgh Steelers, for all you Steelers fans out there, taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. And last but not least, if you haven't noticed already, I'm in my all white. Come Sunday night, Jerry said, I want everybody in the stadium to be in all white. But the all white, the all white out against the Dallas Cowboys taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Rivalry renewed. Again, for the people that's you know, kind of new to the generation, don't know about the back in the day when the rivalry was the 49ers with Steve Young and Jerry Rice and Deion Sanders. The list goes on. But this Sunday, Wild Card Weekend in the AT&T Stadium, the Dallas, Cow the Dallas Cowboys will be hosting the San Francisco 49ers. Good luck to my Cowboys. How about those Cowboys? We're going to come in there strong. Everybody's going to be ready to play. The building is going to be electric. The whole, every game this weekend will be electric. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you tonight. I love you. God loves you. Jesus loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Mr. Firm, take it away. All you. I appreciate it, Kenny. Thank you for the latest sports news and updates taking place. We know that the NFL playoffs kick off this weekend. Big shout out to the Dallas Cowboys, my childhood team. I'm very excited for them to make noise in the playoff. The first game against the 49ers. Like Kenny said, it is a robbery renewed. So very excited about that. So big shout out to the the whole entire America's team, of course. And also, I'm very excited about tonight's episode. Of course, we know this is January the 11th, 2022. The title of this episode is called Lights, Camera, Action. Um, I have my future guest of the evening, uh, Miss Sandra Sweet. She's a native of Dallas, Texas. She's part of the upcoming reality show, 50 and Flawless. She also has a stage play coming up um, called Judgment Day. So I'm very excited about her taking time on her beach schedule. To join, hang out with me on the tonight. Got a couple questions for her, of course, but I want her to introduce herself. So, Sam, introduce yourself to the audience that's tuning here tonight on Walking His Ways in Fat Boys. Okay. Cheers to everybody listening. I am Sandra Sweet. You can call me a triple threat. You can call me an empress. You can call me everything, the last place. Uh, I love doing stage plays. You know, who am I, Sandra Sweet? I'm an American actor, producer, stage play, screenwriter, and entrepreneur. And I went from a boss to an empress because it says those are two different things. You can take it from there, Mr. Furman. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you just summed it up right there. And um, like I said, I know you um, have a lot going on. I know you have different projects that you got your hand into and you're staying productive. And I love that about you. Always, I don't. Somebody always told me, never say busy, say productive. So you're staying productive in your mm -hmm. pursuit of things you got doing to um, enhance, also to make everyone to enjoy the work you got going on. I know you got the stage play that is taking place here in Dallas. Um, also, I know you're part of the reality show, Fifty and Flawless. So elaborate on how it all came about. You being part of the reality show. Wow, that. I tell you what, um, I did put in an audition tape and uh, they chose me out of the Dallas cast. Uh, I got a call back from Tasha Biltmore. Oh, that lady's doing great things. Um, she got this show going on. It will be airing on Tuesday. I got chosen. Uh, one of the producers, Dee Dee Kelly, she's the makeup artist for Oprah Winfrey, Denzel Washington. And all of them had a hand in picking me 
for selection to be in this production. Uh, I did some filming uh, in October uh, about the show. And being in a reality show, it's kind of different because you never know when the cameras are on you or whatever. But they selected me. I went to this uh, lady house. Her name again was Dee Dee Kelly. She does Tiffany Haddish makeup. And I went to her house with Tasha Biltmore because they was getting their makeup for we did our uh, filming and a photography shooting. And they was just talking and talking. And I was just, just sitting there. I said, hi, my name is Sandra Sweet. She said, I know who you are. You're the reason why you're on the show, 50 and Flawless. And uh, I said, wow. She was astonished to see me as I was to see her. But I got selected. Uh, I am the only one out of Dallas that they chose. They said, I'm going to bring a high energy to the show and high ratings. And I'm ready. You got Juicy from, uh, he, she did a lot of stuff with Tyler Perry. She's in it. Uh, you got Little Women's of L.A., Tosh, uh, Tanya, uh, uh, little Tanya from Little America. I mean, Little Women's of uh, uh, L.A. She's in it. I stayed at her house, and uh, she was a lot of fun. Oh, I learned so much about the game. Me and her are going to be going back and forth. And I can't wait to tackle uh, Juicy from uh, – she did a lot of stuff with uh, Tyler Perry. She's in it. We're going to have a lot of walk-in celebrities come in. Uh, it could be Tiffany Haddish, who knows, because the producer, one of the producers who chose me to be on there, she does Oprah Winfrey makeup, a lot of celebrities, I can go on and on. So look for a lot of celebrities to walk through on 50 and Flawless. But I'm happy that they chose to select me. They said I wasn't a boring person, so they wanted me to be on the show. So I got six episodes to turn it up, turn me up, because I'm ready. <laughs> But yeah, and, I got chosen. Go ahead. Okay, and that's and that's good right there. Um, what can the audience expect um, from Fifty and Flawless? What do you want them to gain from it? With you, with your part, what message do you want to bring to the audience that they can actually take and apply and embrace? Well, we got each women is doing their own thing, if you will. So we are unscripted. And everybody gonna have their own selected ones, and that's the whole topic. And uh, I, I plan on bringing it. <laughs> I can do some drama, you know. I can do, but I want them to know that they, no matter how old you are, keep yourself up. I was chosen because selected. That's what it's about. Fifty and over women that have got themselves together physically, emotionally, and being entrepreneurs and don't look their age, and then. You don't have to rest. I want you to live on. That's the message. Live on. I don't care if you broke or rich, but I might be broke now. Before that show over, I'm gonna be rich deep. But keep going. Love yourself. Love your life, and put Jesus first. I'm here. Okay, uh, maybe he went off uh, mm -hmm. off air for a second. Okay. Let me, let me ask you: Is is it a lot of um, screenplays that goes on like that down there in Dallas? Uh, well, people's doing a lot of plays, and one lady I really admire. Her name's Evelyn Reed Jones. She's my mentor. If you can reach out to her, she's doing marvelous things. She keeps plays going. And uh, I am a great follower of her. Yes, this is a big thing now, especially for Black people. We, we are doing plays now. Metal Sword, others are stepping out to movies. And right. I, have, I have a movie coming out as well. But my producers, they're working on it. So it's in their hands right now. But I want people, you know, for its 50th Flawless, because uh, it was created uh, by Tasha Biltmore. And it's about mm -hmm. the lives, it's about the lives of a group of women over 50 that are flawless and uh, for their age and our divas that represent great images and inter you know, interact with the audience at television online as well. Right. Right. And I have been fortunate and was chosen to uh, be on the show at the audition. Love me or hate me, I am undoubtedly going to be the 
breakout star of the series and you can bet that we're going to test like never before we're going to be tested each and every one of oh, us oh yeah mm -hmm. so yeah that's true and when is this supposed to uh air again well we've been filming from california la dallas and uh it started in the middle of spring and summer take up oh okay time. okay and it, it'll be they'll be coming in this this uh spring am i correct uh-huh Oh, I look forward to it. I definitely look forward to it. Definitely look forward to it. So after that project, what's up? Do you have any other things lined up or anything that you're working on after this will be? Uh, yes. I have a play every year that I do. And uh, like I said, I got a movie. It's called uh, God Diva's Journey. It was called uh, God Diva's Debut. But it, my producer mm -hmm. looked at, at the script. And she said it reminds her of a lady on a journey. So we got some right. big heavy hitters. Where we stand at now, right now, this baby is in their hands. And right now I'm focusing on my uh, stage play, uh, Judgment Day, and also being so tired back and forth with 50 and Flawless. And I'm looking forward to that. But every year I have a play. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let me ask you this, the people that tries out and, and, and participates, in the place you do i know you're pretty sure y'all get people from all over that try to uh, participate in the place but how do y'all go by arranging for them to come and people from different states or different areas to come in do y'all pay for their travel do y'all put them up or how does that work well also how it work of course we audition we do social media auditions mm -hmm. and um whether it's on TV, radio, Facebook, just social media, Instagram, and also in all the local uh, talent agency, and they come out, they set up an appointment. And I had my flyer. Oh, I don't know what I did with it. So they work an audition. Let me put this out there. If you want to audition, take this number down. That's for my play entitled Judgment Day. Uh, the number is Erico 214 443. Four nine oh four extension one and set up a appointment. Right now we take it, we either do zoom in or you can come in and we try to get so many at one time. And we're about to fulfill all the roles. So okay. uh, it's coming because it's gonna be a great play. A very yes, great play. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Sorry about that. I had technical difficulties on my end on back. Okay. Okay. All right, back. <laughs> all right, but uh, appreciate. It. But like I said, um, I know I missed all the good stuff. But I do got a question for you. Um, when you hear the word fifty and flawless," mm -hmm. what's the uh first word come to mind? Other than diva, beyond a diva, you know, beyond a diva, because. When you say 50 and flawless, you you looking for women on a cane and a wheelchair and all of that. I can still have my groove. I'm 58 and I can still have my groove, babies. This ain't Stella got her groove back. Sweet ain't never lost her groove. <laughs> Be 58. <laughs> so, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's good. You had that, that mindset. I know is that when you when people reach a certain age, they just kind of like settle. They just settle like in, settle in. just, I guess it is what it is, but keeping that energy going and keeping that um, fire going. Also, somebody in the chat room asked me, um, when, what's the play, what's the play, what's the play going to be about? Well, it's concerning about a crooked judge who take bribe money. Um, the attorney, billionaire bill, judge named Judge Zach. And his love of secretary VIP. They collect bribe money from high dollar criminals while the judge is under investigation. His secretary and love of VIP, they contemplate uh, a conniving scheme to keep the judge from going to prison because he's under investigation. And VIP convinced a false story with the state detective to frame a harmless individual. I play George Zell. I hate to give away, they set me up because he found himself falling in love with me. I'm one of his clients. I don't pay taxes and I end up in his courtroom and we end up having an affair. So VIP convinced the detective to 
to uh, frame me, to get me caught to take the rap for Jerry Zach. And, and during the concert scene at Glamourie nightclub, I get arrested. And it just leads to a serious event that turns serious by the minute, putting me in danger. Eventually, the act of Judge Zach uh, and his client Red, his uh, woman Luscious Tina, brings him down. But yeah, that's what about. That's something to know. Cause, you know, the artists need to get ready to be on the edge of their seat. And spec, I expect everybody to set their sight on these two characters, Miss VIP and Luscious Tina. Both of them two are important components and uh, pieces in my uh, play. And uh, there is a force of nature to be to begin with. You're gonna love that character and my character. Okay. Sorry for that. Mm. Awesome stuff. And the next question someone asks, what kind of roles will be available? I believe I have up to 12 roles. I played Jarzel in all of my plays. I, I took the same format as uh, Tyler Perry playing my deal. My dear, and, and I characterize myself as Jorzell and all my plays. She's like a black Mae West, Jessica Rabbit. But back in the day, you only had white actors. And I flipped the script and made a black character. And um, anyway, you got Jerry Zach. You have Billionaire Bill. AZ, the bodyguard. And uh, you have Luscious Tina. She's played by... Uh, Oh Lord, help me! I had to, I had a little drink. Uh, she's played by a lady that became friends. We became the best of friends. She was on the X Factor, and uh, she won the X Factor. She's gonna play Luscious Tina, and you have the role of let's see, I got attorney, and also uh, you have I, I did mention being in that bill. Uh, what else you have? You have the best friend. I have a best friend. Uh, Jamie, and then uh, who did you have? Of course, VIP. And uh, we still audition for two or three. We got, we almost got it narrowed down, but they come and they, we got a lot of people, but they got to fit the role, especially mm -hmm. Judge, Judge Zach. Right. Judge Zach is an important role. Right. And, uh, and um, still, audition is still going on, correct? Yes, they want to audition. I left that number earlier and they can still call. And uh, we're going to finalize at the end of this month and start rehearsal uh, at the end of this month, 1st of February. And we shouldn't have a play uh, May by May the 21st, awesome. if awesome. not June. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, my next question, I know you compare yourself to the character Cookie on the TV show Empire. Explain why you compare yourself to the character. Okay, let me correct that. The role of VIP is compared to Cookie. Really, Luscious Tina is compared to Cookie. They they roll. Both of them have an intertwined both character. They both tough Pam Greer. Not myself. Uh, I am a has been. My character is Jarzell. She's based off a of, of Black May West, uh, American Motion Picture stage and movie star actress who's known probably as a glamorous Hollywood star during the uh, early 70s. And I have a fading movie career. I always try to bring back my career. I'm like a has-been movie star in the past. And um, I have this man, I, I conjure up, call him Dr. Feelgood, which will be in my movie, which I'm trying to get. Who will be a perfect Dr. Feelgood is Obama. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so, that's my main man. That's who Joselle always talk about. She names all her characters, her men's nickname. And her main man is Dr. Feelgood. And also I sing Dr. Feelgood in all my plays and stuff like that. That's the only man she can't give up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, uh, and then my next question is, what goals have you set for 2022? Uh, I have a six month plan gold. Um, also, of course, my movie and uh, my business. Uh, I want to help others. I want to open up like a shelter for abused children and women's on that to give back to the community. But I'm, I'm setting goals as well, mainly to where I could be looked up so much as a role model by doing my stage play 
my film and hope get their flawless be a stepping stone for others regardless what situation you don't look at your situation because we did that we'll be failures and stuff um, you got to be challenged you got to challenge yourself so my moves my 50th flawless uh my stage play and doing a lot of entrepreneurial things to help people that's unfortunately i have those goals and, and that's some awesome stuff to do and giving back is important giving back to the community and giving back mm -hmm. to those who are less fortunate and my next question is also what is your philosophy when it comes to your business? Uh, well, be willing to take challenges and failure is not an option. Uh, don't ever look at it as fine. Most loss, look at not the loss, but look at the gain of the loss. So, you know, step out, challenge yourself, challenge yourself. Awesome. And uh, my next question is your legacy. Uh, how do you see your legacy after it's all said and done? Uh, let's see. My legacy. I want to be remembered for something. Everybody always wants to be remembered for something. I want to be known as more than merely ordinary to be seen as someone who truly made a difference. And um, just someone truly made a difference. It sparked, I might spark the flame as Tupac, Tupac said, but I want somebody to take that and run with it. I just don't want to be on there. And that's awesome. And I know you mentioned earlier before I was disconnected with technical difficulties um, about the age. I know the women that's on the show are in their 50s, but having it uh, over. Some of them are almost 60. I'm 58. And yeah. But I, what I love about it is showing that there's no excuses when it comes to your age. Like I mentioned, when people get a certain age, they just stop going. But what keeps you motivated to keep going at your age? Well, uh, coming up with creative ideals to approve something or make something new and to spark the flame for others to carry out their goals and dreams that they're Man, that's just awesome. And I know we're pressing for time. I'm going to ask you this. Do you have any final remarks for those who listen who will also tune in to the near future to go back and check it out? Because something will be said or already said will strike a flame with, with flights, but will, will just set some off in the first one to move forward and better embrace what God has given them. Well, talent is a gift. I was nine years old. And uh, I've been writing since then, and this has been my love of my life, writing movies, uh, doing plays, and uh, look at my age. A lot of people give up. Uh, I won't be the one to say, because of you, Sandra Sweet, I didn't give up. Uh, so that. So I'm like Harriet Tart Tartman. Mm -hmm. She said, if you hear the dogs, keep going, move, keep moving. If you hear the man come and keep moving, no matter what, keep moving with the torch up and that torch is Jesus Christ. So keep moving forward. Our age ain't nothing but a number, baby. It ain't nothing but a number. Watch 50 and flawless. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what it leads to age ain't nothing but a number. But I appreciate mm -hmm. taking time with your busy schedule to hang out with us here on the podcast tonight. I know I was disconnected on my end, but Glad to be back on to finish this interview. And also, I thank Kenny for stepping in and taking notes how I got back in. Um, like I said, uh, Miss Sweet, keep doing what you're doing. Keep uh, pressing forward. Keep creating your ideas and mastering things. And just take it to a whole nother level. And also set the trail for other people inspired to get into television, movies, mm -hmm. plays, and just any form of entertainment. Right. Okay, and I'm going to do that. And I don't care. I'm just a triple threat. And uh, you can love me or hate me, but you can't stop me. I'm like a train, and I'm hollering, choo-choo. <laughs> Rolling <laughs> like a choo-choo. 
<laughs> awesome. That's cool for him right there. And like I said, I thank everybody for doing it in on tonight. Big shout out to Kenny for stepping in for me, even though I was disconnected for a minute. Uh, like I said, we got to keep pressing forward to the things, of course. Also, we're going to be back next Tuesday night. I have recording artists from my home, my seat of Mobile, Alabama, Bianca Clark. She'll be on here um, next Tuesday night talking about her new album, talking about her music career. Get to know the inside Bianca Clark. I'm very excited about having her on. I'm very excited about the upcoming guest that's going to be here on the podcast for the month of January. Also, we booked her for February as well. Also, big shout out to Anna as well. Anna, she brings the financial tips. She wouldn't be able to be on here tonight because things was going on. So she hope will be back next Tuesday. Bring some financial tips to keep the new year off right for 2022. Also, big shout out to Kenny with the news with the sports as well. And just a big shout out to everybody. Big shout out to Miss Sweet for taking time on her busy schedule to, to hang out with us here tonight on the podcast. Keep doing what you're doing, of course, and much love to you as well. And also, those who tune in, big shout out to Coach Shea. She's part of the audience with her questions as well. Big shout out to you also. And um, big shout out to everybody. I want everybody to have a great night. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your night. And like the Bible said, don't take no thought for tomorrow. Because tomorrow will take care of itself. We'll see you all next week. Peace, everybody. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Bye.